On this episode, we continue where we left off and talk about the steps we've made to improve our video editing process. What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves and last week we went over how our wireless mic was going to save Noichi's time during the editing process. This week we talk about this one product that I recently purchased that makes our filming process way more efficient. But before I get into it, I just wanted to remind you to please subscribe and click the notification button to stay in the loop for future videos and updates. I'd really appreciate it. So previously when filming these episodes like this, uh, with a lot of talking involved, I'd write down a rudimentary script and just wing it, which resulted in several outtakes and a lot of wasted time. Being in front of a camera is completely new to me. If you've never done it, it's nothing like talking to a person. And I didn't realize how different and hard it was to look straight into the lens and remember all my talking points. Even if I had it written down and rehearsed multiple times, as soon as I made eye contact with the lens, my mind would, could not recollect everything that I wanted to say every time I'd leave something out. But with this recent purchase, all that is in the past. But before I reveal this product, I wanna give you one valuable advice on problem solving. Most likely, the problem you are facing right now, someone has gone through it and solved it already. So the first thing you should ask yourself is this question. How has someone else solved this problem? And start your research. In my case, the someones who have dealt with this problem were news anchors, TV hosts, and even actors at award shows. People who look into the camera and talk for a living. And what do all of them use to remember their lines? A teleprompter. And that's what I was able to get, a tiny teleprompter that fits on my DSLR. This was again found and bought on Amazon for $99. And it works just like the professional teleprompter with a reflective filter that reflects your script, in this case being displayed by your smartphone, in front of the lens so that all you have to do is read the script and it looks like you're staring right into the lens. So simple, it's amazing. Uh, it does take a little more time writing down the script for each episode, but the beauty is I don't have to memorize it. I'm reading what I wrote down right now, and it saved me so much time already. So let's take a closer look and quickly go through over the product and its design. This product has two major components, the lens adapter and the hood. The adapter screws into the inside of the lens like any filter would, and uh, the hood just slides over it. It is a nice tight seal blocking out all the light inside the hood for max visibility of the reflection. The filter, a high reflective glass, is mounted at a 45 degree angle and is reflecting whatever is being displayed on the phone. Then it's just a matter of downloading the app to your smartphone and placing your phone inside the hood and turning on mirror mode. Very simple concept and they've done a very good job at making this very compact. But I do have one major gripe. This lower section where you insert the phone is difficult to operate. The way in which the pinches the phone was not thought through very carefully, and as a result, very annoying. Uh, you have to set your phone down, use two hands to pull it down, uh, and keep it open with one hand and insert the phone in there. It's very clunky. One of the design criteria for this should have been the ability to easily open the platform with one hand. Uh, so you have the other to place the phone without having to set it down first. An unfortunate negligence that could have been easily solved, but it is what it is. Maybe they solved it for their more expensive model, I don't know. Nonetheless, this product is very practical, very compact, and well worth $99. I highly recommend it. And as I always do, I'll place the link in the description box below so you can check it out. Well, that pretty much wraps up this week's update. My new schedule has been very productive and going incredible so far. I'm already seeing results and I'll share that with you next week. And also, if you haven't done so, I'm in a podcast called the Design for Life Podcast talking about the design principles and how to apply it in your daily life uh, with a buddy of mine, Ben Maiosi. So as you subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the podcast as well. We are continually moving forward and I want you to join us in this journey. Uh, the link to the podcast will be in the box below. Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.